Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, crazy look number three. This is a third um, special video for Halloween. So as you can see, I have bandaged myself up and I am going to become a botched person basically. So yeah, remember guys, if you like my channel, give it a good thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, it means the world to me, so thank you. Right, so without ado, let's get cracking. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Studio Fix in the shade NC35 and I'm just going to pop that all over my face remember to always blend it in your neck I've already done obviously half of my nose so I'm not going to go too deep into it so nothing too heavy, nothing too crazy just like so right so foundation is on right I'm going to go in with my Collection 2000 concealer and I'm just going to pop that under there like so and I'm just going to get a brush and buff that out, pat it in and also try and blend it in with the patty motion and then just bring that on to the lid. Because we have already put foundation there it is pretty primed so you're good to go with colours and um, eyeshadow so I'm just gonna get that foundation brush just to make sure that has all been blended out don't worry too much because we are gonna look bruised and battered so let's get started so I'm just gonna pick up a nice like fluffy brush it's not a crazy big one let that zoom in if it wants to there you go and I'm just gonna pick up from one of my favorite palettes I'm gonna pick up um, a colour called Mr H and all I'm going to do is carefully just brush that underneath. This is a peach colour so it's not going to be, it is um, a nice pigmented colour but we want it to look soft and I'm just going to pop that just not all the way on the lid but I'm just at the beginning because you don't want it like right up here because no one's going to it will look more like you've got eyeshadow on rather than you've been battered and bruised. So I'm just going to pop that on here like so and underneath. Now picking up a different brush, I'm going to go in with this one. I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to go to this um, shade from the Carnival palette called Guilty. This one right here. More of a dark, pinkier, purpley shade. I'm just going to have my mirror below me and all I'm going to do is pack that on to the outer corner. What I'm going to do is just slowly like smoke it out a little bit and all you've got to do by smoking it out is just use the same brush or a clean brush, don't put any product on it and just try and smoke that out. So again just get a clean brush and just really smoke it because with a bruise it does like a bit of an ombre effect. Anyway, then I'm going to use the same colour, the guilty, uh, the guilty colour, and then I'm just going to pop a little bit under here, and then really work my way down with it. Don't worry so much in the inner corner; you just want to work more in the outer corner, just like so. Then I'm going to get um, a different fluffy brush, and I'm going to use this dark brown called Liquor from the same palette. I'm just going to pop that like so and as at the moment obviously it's not all blended I'm just going to keep going back and forth between the brushes that I've been using and just blend out the colours so I'm going to leave it as that because as I say no black eye is the same as the other so with my smaller brush that I've been using I'm going to get a colour called mini which is a nice like ready brownie pink let me show you because i should be really anyway so this kind of color let it focus that one right there it does look a bit more pinky on camera but it is a mixture and i'm just going to pop a tiny bit on there and i'm just going to do a little bit down my nose and then i'm just going to pat it on blend that out a little bit don't worry so much about the nose because i have got something to finish it off with so something like that now for the mouth and um, 
I am going to be using exactly the same colours and I'm going to start with that guilty colour which remember is that more pinkier one and all I'm going to do is go on the outer corners of my smile lines and then I'm going to follow that with that liquor which is that brownie colour and I find it just deepens it lovely and it makes it look that like muddy colour which you want and again it doesn't have to be identical because you won't always have identical bruises but you can always do your best to blend it but don't worry so much like don't get too stressed about it now we have the bruising done on that side and um, we are going to start by using the I'm going to use the fluffy brush again and we're now going to work our way on the forehead I'm just going to do it slightly here And again, you can be quite rough with these because it's a bruise. That's the best bit about like when you do Halloween makeup and stuff, it doesn't have to be perfect. So anyone can do it. So always just have a little play around with colors and everything and you will be fine. I'm gonna get a bit more of a brownie kind of shade in there, just so it gives it that depth. Just like so. Right, once you've done that, sorry, this bandage is a bit itchy. I'm then gonna go in with my lovely Makeup Gallery Pro Liquid Liner. So it looks like that. And it is a very, very small tip. And I'm going to do the botched lines where the surgeons have obviously come in and they're telling me what I'm, you know, where I'm gonna be incision. So I'm just gonna start here. Just gonna do it in three sections. Now you have done that. You're going to follow it by doing the small lines. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna follow the chin. If you can see if I come a bit closer, just with an arrow and the other lines. So basically this is a lovely procedure that's gone wrong. And then do a little arrow going up. Perfect. Now to finish off the liquid eyeliner I'm going to do my X's above my eyebrow where they're giving me a lovely just more cosmetic see uh, procedure procedures so I'm going to do my four X's across my eyebrow and then I'm going to have a little arrow pointing up because I will be putting some more blood scarring like open wounds on there like that I'm going to then get my lovely friend, which is this, there we go. Halloween, you've got to have the fake blood. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a very, very, very small pen, uh, small brush. And all I'm going to do is continue this line, which I've previously done. And it's nice because I'm putting different, like, it's not one, con like, it's a continuous line, but because I'm going back and forth from the blood. It dries, um, some bits dry quicker than others. So then when you go back, it actually looks like wound. You can just play around with it until you're happy with it, but I'm not gonna do much more than that. Now, to completely finish the look, all you will need is a plaster and a cotton bud. And you're just gonna place the cotton bud over your nose, and then you just wanna plaster over it tuck that in and stick it down. So you've just had a lovely nose job as well. And that is the finished look. So I'm just gonna pop my hair down. And obviously you can wear whatever you want to wear, but this is my botched, my botched facelift. So guys, I hope you like it. Remember if you do, give it a good thumbs up. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. And happy Halloween.